Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located just down the street from all the shiny lights off the strip. You come here on vacation, you want to buy a fancy new hot rod, classic, antique, come on by. If you just want to show the family, please just come on by and check us out. Saturday mornings, we have a great big car show on the other side of town, too. You can check us out at uh, Celebrity, car, car, Celebrity Cars and Coffee. Thank you very much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Land Rover Range Rover. Now, I'm not the guy that's going to tell you about its Carfax, how many owners it's had, um, uh, all the options it's got, and all that kind of stuff. You're going to find that stuff out at CelebrityCars.com. So, uh, if you see this video first, go to Celebrity Cars, see a bunch of additional photographs that maybe I didn't capture during the course of this video. I'm your living, breathing condition report, folks. So what that means is that this sucker right here has just under 80,000 miles on the odometer. It's black, it's all black, it's black inside too. Wheels black, it's super shiny, it's in super great shape, but it has just under 8,000 original miles on it from what we understand. And uh, it's all one black from what I capture as well. It's got a little bit of pearl in it and uh, I don't see any paint work or any of that kind of stuff as I've gone over it. If I see it while we're doing this together, I'll let you know. But obviously, just under 80,000 miles on the odometer, it's gonna have a little bit of road wear. That's what I'm here to show you a little more in depth in case you're looking for one of these things, you wanna get a little closer to the paint and we're gonna show you. Folks, this really just a, a brief overview. This is in great shape. It barely has any dings in it, if it has any dings in it at all. Uh, there's road wear in the front from just driving it down the road. You can tell it wasn't driven at 80 gajillion miles an hour because it's not all pitted up. It's just normal road wear, especially on black. So, but you know, there's no major scrapes or dents or you know, any of that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool. Come on over here. We're gonna start up front and I'm gonna show you this nose. It's super straight. It's nice and clean. And if you notice up here, uh, this is your normal road wear. This is the little rock chips. This is uh, just the normal stuff. Boy, I, 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 I spent so much time on this grill, Quincy, cleaning it up so it would look nice. And now uh, we're filming. I, I see all the dirt in the letters. Boy, that bugs the crap out of me. Holy, sorry about that, folks. It would shine up just a little bit nicer. Anyway, yeah, this is your normal road wear, folks. It's kind of sort of scattered all over the hood. It's not major. I'm pretty sure you can see a couple of these little blips here and there. Uh, up here, uh, we did spend some time trying to shine this this uh, this Land Rover up, folks. And these spots here kind of sort of said, no, I'd like to stay here. Now, not to say that you can't get them out, but uh, w w with our process here, we tried to get them out. They kind of sort of said, uh, you know, they, they want to hang out on this paint. This is, uh, this is just weather. It's, uh, you know, uh, something was left on the car a little too long before it was washed. It's not major, folks. It's really not. It's not unless you get up here and stand at it. But you also have to remember how many miles are on this vehicle. Okay, uh, I'm going to scooch down here. You see the headlight covers are in great shape. This uh, initial grill is in super shape. It's all in one piece. It's just every once in a while you see a little mark, a little chip down here on this panel. Same thing is kind of sort of right up here right along here, but it's nothing major. There's no great big ones. I don't see a bunch of touch-up paint, which is good. Um, this is just kind of sort of the way it just kind of rolls. This is, this is the life of this vehicle. All the way down here, I don't have any scratches down here. Um, it's super nice and clean. The fog lights lenses down here are both in good shape. And uh, I, I, that's, that's, that's what I have to, that's what I got to say. Yeah, headlight lens is in good shape. Okay. Uh, we'll work our way down the passenger side. We've spent enough time on the hood. You get the idea. We'll go back up to the top in the windshield in just a moment. Uh, here's your front passenger side wheel and tire. It's in, it's in really, really good shape. I don't think, these don't look like they've been redone. They just kind of seem like the same patina as the rest of the vehicle. And no curb rash. Uh, somebody kept these wheels nice and clean. So, uh, you know, there, there's a little bit of dust on them right now from probably driving it around the block. But another, but uh, all in all, the wheels are in really, really good shape. Let's hope that there isn't any more curb rash. Uh, working my way down the whole passenger side, I'm looking for dings. And uh, all the way down here to uh, the kick panel to get up and in the vehicle. All this is nice and clean. It's got a little, you know, a little just normal road wear to it. Got a little bit of sand on it and a little dust on it at the moment, but all this is nice and clean right on the bottom here. That's not all scratched up. 
and uh, it, it looks it looks great. This this plastic piece across the bottom, it's it's not all banged up. All this just looks terrific. I kind of babble as I look over large pieces of uh, of uh, automobile uh, just to make sure I'm I'm not missing anything. So. If you're super interested in this vehicle, please follow along and you'll understand by the end what I'm talking about because you're not going to find this anywhere else on the internet. No curb rash. Fabulous shape. Crazy. Back here, this plastic piece is all in good shape. All of this is good. Once again, I don't see any dings. The, uh, the window tint along here is super. It is as black as the rest of the car. Hopefully you don't get in trouble. <laughs> Side mirror, this is all nice and clean. S uh, just a few little itty bitty normal road chips over here, but I mean, they're super small. Quincy, you don't even need to show them. Up here all looks real nice. This back glass, uh, uh, there's a real small, um, you know, the windshield wiper comes down here, I guess. Is there a windshield wiper back here? Why did I think there's a windshield wiper back here? All right, there's no windshield wiper back here. There's a small mark in the, uh, in the window tent. It looks like a windshield wiper came down, but uh, it just must have been somebody's rag. It's really mild. Um, again, you're not gonna find this detail anywhere else. Uh, small chip right here, super, super small. Again, back with the letters, geez could have looked so much nicer. Back here, all this plastic, although it needs to be cleaned up a little bit, it's all in one piece. I don't feel any signs of backing into anything at all whatsoever. There's no cracking back here, there's no peeling. I don't even see any water marks. Uh, sorry folks, phone's ring. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do this before we get to the driver's side. You guys can get a good look at it as I spin it around. I just spinning this around, folks, not just to show you that I can spin it around. Like we, I, it's a little lighter on the other on the, on the other side, so that's why I that's why I do these things. Okay, looking down the car for any dings. No dings. Plastic is beautiful. Back panel here is great. Windows are wonderful. Curb rash. No curb rash. This is insane. Super nice and clean. Again, looking for dings. There's just some leftover wax in the door here. It's going to bug the hell out of me. This hasn't raised up against anything. That's nice and smooth. Door handle looks good. Side view mirror, the littlest sign of patina and normal road wear. Glass is great. All the way down here, the kick panel is all good. It's got a little bit of rubber on top and it feels like it's still completely there and doing what it's doing. Doing what it needs to do, excuse me. And uh, wow, we really gonna... Okay, see this? This is, I just want to show them that, you know, that the, the, again, the detail. See that little itty bitty chip right there? <laughs> That's the only curb rash we've got on these wheels. It's insane. Can't believe it. Well done, previous owner. Okay, windshield up here is in great shape. Little itty bitty smaller than a pinhead chip right there. Does this need to be replaced? Be replaced? Absolutely not. There's no reason for it whatsoever. This is incredibly normal wear, and I can't get over the fact that this thing has just under 80,000 miles on the odometer, and the windshield looks as good as it does. I don't know any signs of, or how you would find out if it's been replaced or not, but. I, I, it, it's just got, seems to have normal wear. It seems like this car has been driven since, what, what year is this thing again? 2014, did I say? Let's double check that. 2014, 
It's like it's been back and forth to the grocery store, and that's it. Amazing. Quincy, this is pretty shocking. Okay, I'm gonna pop the hood. Leave this door open. Quincy, I'm just gonna let you look around a minute. Folks, this is, uh, you, you kinda can't beat it, condition-wise. You know, this, this area here is always normally all jacked up because everybody's trying to start the car, it goes dead battery and stuff, and this, this thing pops off. Just little things like that. This thing's been around for 12, 13 years now. Over here, everything looks great. Hmm. Awesome. Okay. Did that close all the way? I think so. Let's open up this back hatch back here. Wow. The power button's here for seats to move around. Incredibly clean back compartment. I, I take it back, folks. This didn't go back and forth in the grocery store. Because if we went back and forth from the grocery store, this would be all banged up back here, a little bit. And man, it's like it's never been used. It really does look that nice, folks. Oh, okay. Can I do that? Can I do this? I can do all those things, great. Okay, check out this interior. I'll let you go in first, Quincy. What did I tell you earlier in the video? Black, black, black. Black interior, black wheels, black car, black windows. Ooh, it's four blacks. Oh man, I just found something. All right, Quincy, don't let me forget. I found a ding, folks. Okay, now this center console here, let's talk about this real quick. It is, uh, this is super shiny. And when you get over here, you can tell this is where the keys got put down. This is where the wallet's at. This is uh, where the hand was, kind of wrapping your fingers and stuff like that. So there's a, a little bit of wear here, but you see there's no chunks taken out of it. There's no great big obnoxious marks. The coffee holders are nice and clean. Beverage holders. Dashboard's in great shape. Nobody had their feet up here kicking away at the panels. Passenger seat. Um, it seems like a lot of these uh, Range Rovers, they get a little bit of like white stuff and little things in the holes. And you know, a lot of our detailers spend a lot of time getting the stuff out, of, trying to get the stuff out of the holes and it just doesn't come out. So I don't know what the heck it is, um, but uh, you know, it's not surprising. But these little pores can collect some things sometimes. But anyway, the driver's seat looks great, just a couple little things. And over here on the passenger seat, Quincy, when you come over in the back center here, just a little bit of white marks and stuff like that. Um, is very mild and uh, it is what it is. Uh, the kick panel, I'm coming over. I, I did notice a little mark on the kick panel early, earlier. It's this little brown spot right there, light tan spot. I'm gonna try and get that out again a little earlier, but this is a super sharp, this is in great shape. Normally this would be all crapped up from climbing in and out of the car. The carpets seem beautiful. This uh, driver's seat, you can see a little bit of uh, wear from getting in and out of the vehicle down here, but none of the stitching or separating, none of that kind of stuff. All the controls down here are in super shape. Um, they don't work unless you have the car on. Um, it's got a little velour band around here, uh, sound deadening, all these rubber gaskets and all that stuff, and the door jams are nice and beautiful. Um, when we get outside and we cruise around the block in this, we'll look at this a little bit more in detail, but other than that, I, I, don't, I don't see, there's no major anything going on in here and it looks great. How about those back seats? You wanna meet me on the other side? Cause I got something to show over there. Okay, all this carpet back here is beautiful shape. The backs of the seats haven't been kicked. I don't see any signs of Fruit Loops or Raisinets or Thin Mints or any of those things. So we're in good shape back here. And this leather, just so you know, wow, it's, it's beautiful. That's beautiful. The seats are in really nice shape. Oh, the moonroof looks terrific too. Boy, the glass, 
uh, could be a hair cleaner, but other than that, it's all in one piece and it looks great. Headliner looks good. Hey, wait a minute. Are these seats, are, are televisions? Son of a gun. They're, they're televisions, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Hey, wow, man. You even get television sets behind the, behind the seats. That's pretty darn awesome, sorry. Okay, uh, I, again, folks, I got nothing, nothing to report. Oh, okay, here. Uh, there's a small little little bitty mark on this door. Quincy, you don't have to, it's just a, it's, you know, normal wear and tear, but boy, it almost seems that nobody's even really been back here. Just so you know. Okay, I'm coming over there to point out this one spot that I missed. Now you can call your local dent dude, paintless dent repair, and get stuff like this taken care of. Or if it really bugs the crap out of you, we can make a phone call too. But I've got a little ding right here. It is super small. It's about the size of the back of a pencil eraser. And uh, you know, it is what it is. It's right there. Uh, it's kind of close to a joint. Maybe it can't be repaired. I'm not sure, but boy, it, I, I stared at this for you know five minutes a couple minutes ago and I didn't see it until just now. So anyway, folks, that's about it. That's what I've got to share on this automobile. We've looked at the engine. We've looked at the interior. It's in really fabulous shape. It's a, it's a, except for you know these couple little bumps up here. Maybe you're super fancy with uh, you know mm, the buffer, or maybe you don't give a rat's butt and you just really need some really good transportation and uh, it seems extremely well cared for. We're gonna go for a quick ride around the block and make sure it does all the things it's supposed to do. You know, the brakes, make sure the engine's not making a bunch of noise, and uh, you know, get it up to speed for a second, drive around a little bit and make sure it's okay. We'll be right back. Okay, folks, we're in the 2014 Land Rover Range Rover. Uh, this is beautiful. I, I still can't get over the, the actual condition of this thing. I mean, yeah, there's a couple spots in the paint and all, I, I get it, but folks, I mean, this has been very, very well cared for. The odometer shows 79,488, all right? And we'll try and keep it there until you get here and take it for a test drive and take it home. My foot's on the brake. I'm gonna hit this, uh, don't I hit a button? There it is. Okay, so uh, got it fired up. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Sounds good. I'm gonna put my foot on the brake, reach down here and turn this dial to drive. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna go through the transmission and stuff. On the gas, here we go. Forty miles an hour. Hit the brakes. Three, two, and one. Okay. I don't, I don't like to refer to things, but I just drove a 2019 vehicle. I won't tell you which one it was. I just drove a 2019 vehicle. Under 20,000 miles. This has almost how many? Did I say almost 80,000? Transmission so much smoother. Braking so much smoother. Boy, you, you know, you get what you pay for. You really do, you really do. This is beautiful. I don't, I don't understand how, I don't understand. It's not G-Wagon, but it's really something. Speed bump number one. We got some bad speed bumps down here. No rattles. I'm getting on and off the gas pedal with these little speed bumps and stuff like that. You find sloppy transmissions that way. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get up to speed. The power is there too. You, you barely have to put your foot on the gas pedal to, to make it get out of its own way. This road's really crappy. And this thing isn't making a peep. My foot's back on the brake, right turn signal's on. Gonna do a little cul-de-sac here.
This is just so smooth. Boy, it's so much different than what we were just in. It's crazy. That's really crazy. Back on the brake. Left turn signal. Get on the gas a little harder. Wow. I, I barely got, I don't need to get on the gas harder. It goes by, all by itself. I'm afraid to get on the gas harder. Heading back into the showroom. Little divider drops in the, on the street just vibrate and sound terrible. That's all it was. This is amazing. So service records, owners, all that kind of stuff, celebritycars.com. You want to find out any more about it? But folks, I, I, boy, if I'll tell you what right now. If, if you're into these vehicles, we get a lot of Range Rovers. This is one of the nicest ones I've ever driven, by far. I'm going to get up to about 30 miles an hour. I'm going to hit the brakes one more time. Three, two, and one. This thing means business. What a wonderful ride. It needs gas. <laughs> So I'll go get some gas. Folks, 702-818-1031. Call us. Call, get, get your butt down here to see it. This is, I'm going to tell them to get this one on social media because uh, this is, you know, although it, uh, on top of it, it's all black. And it runs this good. Crazy. See you next time.